recipes in this book are going to take you onto a journey, a journey hopefully you've never been before. If you really want to impress your guests at a dinner party, this is the dish for you. It's so simple, it's so easy to prepare, yet the wow factor is immense. I'm going to prepare for you basil and kadaifi wrapped prawns, king prawns. Now, kadaifi, it's a pastry that I love using and it's actually a very finely shredded filo pastry. It's available in Middle Eastern or Turkish shops. Should you fail to get hold of some, you can wrap the prawns, just like I'm going to show you in a minute, in very fine filo or brick pastry, which you can obtain from any supermarket in this country. So, this is the Kadifi pastry. What I'm going to do with it is just pull some of it and create long strands in which I'm going to wrap my prawns. Again, I'm keeping it under wet, like a damp cloth, because it dries very quickly. So I have the strands here. The prawns have been shelled and deveined, which you always have to do, whether you use fresh or frozen. And once they're frozen, they have to be defrosted fully. Then I'm going to marinate the prawns. My marinade is going to consist ground coriander, Tabasco sauce, lemon, a bit of garlic perhaps, and olive oil. Those lemons are particularly delicious. Those are Sicilian lemons. And I keep them in my fridge because I made the most beautiful lemon tart with them. So I use them for this dressing because they're not very abrasive. They are very, very gentle lemon. It goes into my bowl, and this is a very big lemon, so basically I'm using half a lemon. I need good two generous spoons of lemon juice. The next item to go in here would be some garlic. I'm going to crush it into one of my most favorite kitchen gadgets. It's one of those things that no technology will ever replace, in my opinion. Okay, so what I do, this will go now with the lemon. Okay. Often I add some coriander and I add some Tabasco sauce. I'll mix it all together. I'm now adding my prawns and they're going to marinate. What I'm going to do as well is probably add a little bit of olive oil at this stage because I'd like a bit of the flavor of the olive oil. And just because the cumin happened to be in front of me, it's not in the book, it's not in the recipes, so now you haven't got me out, I'm going to add some cumin to it as well only because I love, love, love cumin. While the prunes are marinating, I'm going to show you how to do the tahini sauce. It's very, very simple. Tahini, it's uh, sesame paste. It's sold in all the supermarkets. I will put about three tablespoons here because remember, it's just a dipping sauce. Just a little bit goes a long way. What I'm going to do now is just um, squeeze some more lemon. I'm adding it and I'm stirring it as I do. Because you're adding acid to it, it will tighten slightly the tahini. Can you see the way it gets a little bit tighter? Don't worry too much. It becomes almost impossible to stir. You have to apply a lot more action, wrist action, a lot more muscle. But what we do then is we add olive oil to it to loosen it and to give it this wonderful olive oil flavor that we want. I'm adding a little bit of water. Remember, I'm going to season and at the end I'm going to adjust the seasoning. And now look, the color is gorgeous. You need to have this wonderful white color. I'm going to add some sumac. And you see, it just looks gorgeous. Look at this. This looks beautiful. And it smells so amazing. Prawns have been marinating for a couple of hours. That's quite enough. There they are. I really don't want the marinade. I'm going to discard the marinade. I just want the prawns. Before I wrap them up in my basil and kadifi, I'm going to put my oil on because I need a good 5-6 minutes for the oil to get extra hot. And then I will fry my prunes, I'll cook them in that really hot oil. Here we have gorgeous parcels of basil wrapped prawns. And here is the marinated king prawn wrapped in the basil leaf and ready to be wrapped in the kadifi pastry. I have to work very quickly at this stage. So, This is one done. Remember, you can do this dish with aubergines, with okra. Basically, you can do it, treat it like a tempura. They will be like little hedgehogs. They will look all very different. And this is the beauty of this dish. It's totally homemade dish. If you're nervous about using kadifi, then by all means do go and use filo pastry. It's just, um, I think with kadifi, it's also very light. You really don't put that much in it, you know, so. It's kind of very, very light and easy, and it's crispier as well. Okay, I'm going to position it in the oil, 
and I'm going to keep it for about a second because I don't want the Cadizzi pastry opening up and, then, and I let it be. And this one is now ready. Put them on something that the excess oil can drain. Here we are. How simple was that? How simple and how effective? Let me just uh, show you how you eat them. Look at this now. Look at this. this. Oh, you do this for your guests, they will never want to leave your house.